Hello my friends, my name is Summer Cake and welcome to a possible last video of episode 4 of Life is Strange. So we're going to go through Frank's stuff, so we need to find out what exactly all this is. So, we saw the account back, we saw the paper I think. I'll read this. Um, David Madison and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that for Rachel Amber has been a drug mole in Mr. Madison talk radio terminology. As is a friend forever local dealer. Considering Rachel's examiner status, I told David I would need more concrete proof and he promised he had more to show. Okay. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but if she did come back. I don't know. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel or protect her. Mm. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Yeah. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you out that way, and the next time will be for last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, so about you, S. So maybe we need to break our routine. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Chihuahua, Katie, Bobtail, Miss Fancy Cars, Sheba, Nacho, Husky, Joseph, Greyhound, Mick, Dashon, Stella, Golden, Simon, Labrador, Logan. Jim and Sheep Steve, what Nathan, <laughs> Boxer Stilfer, Beagle Justin, Bulldog Chloe, Yorkshire, Bruce, Perk, Johnny, Chow, Nicholas, Poodle, Glenn, Wolf, Tonk. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Yeah. Wait, no, blah, blah, blah. Frankie B. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And Paul Pompidou. There's a lot of weird crap going on in my life, and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to let out of Arcade Bay. Thank God for you, you're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. I love you, H. So. Select. Select. There you go. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. <sighs> Okay. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with me. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. So we're looking first look for for what ones? So what there? It'd be easier to steal on this. Uh everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. Yeah, I know. That explains a lot. I love your names and maths of dogs. They're <laughs> so cute. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? So that doesn't have a what in it. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Yeah. What, 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 what? There's a what there. There's two what's. So if we do this one and do this. Let's see if what, um... Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? That's a what as well, then. No There's loads of what's. Um. I'm looking for. Uh. What's. I forgot what she was. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. I don't know. Oh, yes. Ah. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Oh, we got a thing. Cats can't fight. You F at my dorm door, I kill your scholarship. Okay. I know I should have gone back in time. Okay, let's look at the first day. Oh, what? Ugh, I can't get any of these controls right. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so there's all this one. We need to go read this. 
After that dawn brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. Unfortunately, Frank was not in a helping mood. He went ballistic and attacked Chloe. She shot him in the leg, which totally freaked me out, even though I feel like I've been seeing Chloe get shot all week. All I could think was, this is really happening, I'm outside an RV in a gunfight with a drug dealer. She didn't shoot him, did she? I thought she just stabbed him. So our mission to bring Frank on board was impossible now. He's even more peed off at Chloe and me. Part of me thinks he has survived since we shot him in the leg, but the other part thinks that Frank should be shot at some point by somebody else. She was lucky he was by a stalks. I hope his leg is okay and we don't end up with worse karma. This is not how I wanted our visit to go and I don't want Chloe to beat herself up even more over what happened. She did defend me. Sigh. But we do have bigger Franks to fry or F up. Onwards. My life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space but it's aging me before my own time and space. Am I learning things that she didn't mess up much crap? Including my own history. Obviously my nose bleeds and dizzy spells are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers. But it's, all, but it's become almost part of my nature or maybe a habit. Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. I remember this famous episode of original Star Trek where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die so the Nazis won't win the war. What kind of effed up choice is that? What would have happened if I had not been in the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? But damn it, I was there and first I was supposed to be there, destiny. So things got a little bit out of hand with Frank, but honestly, what else could you expect? He's not really your everyday hero type, and it's probably super for us to hope for a change, but hey, we had to confront him. We tried to persuade him. Um, we're on the same side, but it was a waste of time. We eventually had to defend ourselves and hit him in the leg, but despite the rage in his eyes, he somehow gave us what we were looking for. He was on the first of unleashing hell on us, but I think we were fired of the worst. I just hope our paths don't cross again anytime soon. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I'd feel less judgmental, but I definitely don't see the good in him. Anyhow, we tried right, and now we have Nathan's phone, David coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us closer to finding me to Amber finally. Okay. Where is all this? Oh, those are pictures. Cool. Alright, I think we're pretty much done with all the clues. And we're done all the readings. We're gonna... Hey, Max. See if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holler if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed okay. anything. Okay. Investigate. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Oh, there's so much to look through. So this one, um... What time is it? When was the party? So... This infamous party was the 4th. At 8pm. October the 4th, 8pm. So we're going to look at all these. This is 7th. 4th. So this is, um... Okay, so that one might be what I'm looking for. So I think it's this one. Ten or seven. Oh nine thirty. Ten or four. Five forty p.m. Ten or seven. Ten or seven. Ten or four. Eleven p.m. That one. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That's ten three. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. 
score, Rich Nathan. 10 4, 6 23. That's not the right time. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Not much out there. This one. There you go. Catabo is high. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. It has to be the place. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. <laughs> Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Yeah. That's so messed up. We need to go to our south. This whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. Let's go! I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Fuck. Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I have the power! I this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Yep. Do you hear, Chloe? I hear yes, you, sir. girl. So, we're here. I just had to like take a little break because my camcorder ran out of space. This is annoying because we're so close to the end, I think. I can really, I can just smell the end right now. In a new place that we've never been to before. Has to be the end of episode four, come on. If it isn't, I'd be shocked. Holy shit, this is scary. It is spooky. At least we're here in the daytime. Let's go find the best way in. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I'm not gonna walk Whoa. around. Check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Oh, that's even spookier. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Where's that crowbar when you need it? Okay, so we're here in a barn place. Somebody's in Walking Dead. There's a zombie in there. Hello. Oh. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. You're not going in now, are you? Damn it, I want to explore oh, yes. a bit more. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. There's pictures behind you. Can we go out hey, again, check please? check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. <laughs> no, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Can I get back out? Because this place gives you the creeps. Well then. Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved a beat down, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody is going to kill his house sooner or later. You're wise, grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't excited to be here with this town needs. You still paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to a party next week and celebrate. I'll let you know, I promise. Cool, and I had to calm myself down. I'm confused. Isn't it going yes, ape thing tonight? Old press cut clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This isn't going to leave, leave, is it? It's just going to go outside. Good. Because I want to explore a bit more before. What the hell? I like that bird. Photo. Ha <laughs> I got you, buddy. Oh! Oh, never mind. Car. Look at this car. 
Watson, Fish eye. we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? It does make sense, to be honest. Okay, so if he sends an else on here, but in her car. Let's see if we can look at the sign, but it might be like, oh, oh, hey, we can. Come on. Watch us. Huh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back into the barn. Come on, this video might be a long one because I really want to finish it in this video because I don't know how much is left. Okay, entrance, enter. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Skip, skip, skip. So what are we going to find here? A tractor. This tractor has paid its dues. Yep. They're right inside. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Search? I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. 1903, Jesus. Dear Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding depths that you have chosen to ignore. The Petscots may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We are we take your silence as a personal insult and the first dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with ten percent interest with personal written apology. It's a condition I met by the end of the day, july twenty fourth, the year of our Lord nineteen oh three. I was assured we will make your life a living hell. Wait, was there any more? Only went to one. Press cuts were just boring bastards. Yes. Pitch for secret shop. If a zombie shows up, I have no <laughs> weapon. I was talking about zombies. Ground. What's so fascinating about this ground? <sighs> Nothing here. Then why do you need to search it? You're really fur, Just Max. rotting wood. Very fur. <sighs> These hooks are used to lift haystacks. <laughs> I saw them in a Friday the Thirteenth movie. That's not exactly a good thing to think about right now. Ah, the good old days. Okay, the bay. Blah, 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 blah. That is really old stuff. What is Eleanor doing in here? So many haystacks, so few needles. Right. So many haystacks, okay. so few needles. I don't see anything else here. How's it going in there? Chloe would make a great detective, too. But I have no idea what's going on anymore. Oh wait, something in the ground here. It's a secret basement. <sighs> Nothing here. Oh. Are you sure? It doesn't like anything. Damn, lots of info here. Okay. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Photo. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. Yeah, that's an old picture, ma'am. Seen those tracks before. What else are we looking for then? Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Selfies are awesome. So we see the chest. We looked in the ground in two, no, three different places. We've seen this crate. Um, we've seen pitchfork. We talked about zombies. Ah, oh, it's ground here. This has to be it. It's the last one. And it's taking longer. Come on! What have you found? Is it a basement? It's a basement, isn't it? Whoa. I told you. What is this? It 
It's totally brand new. Why? You're not going to be able no, to open it. Super Max. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. So we're going to try to use this button then, aren't we? No? There's no way this rusty oh, one button bad. will activate these ropes with pulleys. Oh, <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. You're gonna fall and Chloe, fail. Can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Woo! What's gonna happen? Uh, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Okay. I'm sorry, but I said I didn't want to finish this video until I've worked out what's going on here. But I know it's probably only like five minutes left, but I have to end it here. So I'm going to end this video here of Life Streams. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, comment, subscribe. All of it. It's so great. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Follow my social media down below right there. And that's it for this video of Life Streams. Hope you enjoyed it. And have a great time today. Bye bye. Oh, I can't turn it off. Okay, Chloe. I will not fall.